Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to CD CDs where today we are going to be taking a look at the earliest recordings that have been officially released by the rap group duo the insane clown posse now back in the day when these recordings were done they went by a different name same letters icp but they were for inner city posse well, this isn't the earliest official release recording this is insane clown posse carnival of carnage no nope, we're not looking at that and no we are not looking at icp dog beats either and no, we are not even looking at ICP Basement Cuts, which, I mean, this album is really great. I love this one. But no, we are looking at ICP Intelligence and Violence. It says down here, 1989 is the original release date, quote unquote. And I say quote unquote because back in the day, what they would do would just record things on tape recorders and dub the tapes and then just give the tapes away just for basically promotion purposes. They weren't really trying to sell anything at this point in their career. I think Joe, Violent J at the time, he was only 17, 18 maybe. The story of how this demo tape was recorded was Joe met a dude by the name of Dale who went by D Lyrical. Joe went by the name Violent J. So before Joe started rapping with Dale here, he started recording his own albums via two cassette recorders. He would play a beat from one cassette recorder, rap, and the other cassette recorder would pick up everything that it was hearing, you know, in the room. And that's how originally Joe started putting out his tapes. And he put out two demo tapes with that style of recording. And they were called Enter the Ghetto Zone and Ghetto Territory. And then when Joe found out that Dale had a $200 karaoke machine that would make things sound so much better, Joe was excited to record an album that way. So he wound up talking to D Lyrical saying, hey, can we record an album? I heard you got that karaoke machine. And he was like, all right, cool. Now the different rap styles between the two were Joe, Violent J, he was more violent. He would cuss in his raps and just go all out, which is really cool. D Lyrical, he was more of an intelligence, uh, goody goody kind of rapper that didn't ever cuss in his raps. So Joe basically acted like he liked Dale a lot more than he actually did, just to be able to record this album. So where this album got recorded was in Dale's parents' house. Joe would come over and he would record his part. Violent J had said this in the book Behind the Paint where a lot of times when Joe would be rapping, D Lyrical's mom would come in and say, why do you always have to cuss like that? My son raps and he doesn't have to cuss like that. And Joe just had to grit his teeth and just deal with that until the album was finally made and made a bunch of copies of and given out to uh, promote their stuff. Now after this tape was finished and done, Joe and the rest of Inner City Posse got themselves their own karaoke machine and made this album, Basement Cuts, which is a masterpiece in my book. But anyways, that's why this album cover looks very gritty and low grade because this is the original cassette demo cover that they used. Now taking a look on the back here, there's 10 tracks. We got Intro, Intelligence and Violence, Wizard of Del Rey, Violent J's The Mac, Gangsta Codes, Inner City Posse, Gangsta Times, Something to Say, Violent Crimes, and D-Day. Now this CD in particular is highly rare. It's because there's only 500 of them made. So this was a limited release and it came out August 26th, 2017. It was made available to attendees on that day at the Carnival of Carnage show in Detroit, Michigan. Surprisingly, some of these CDs wound up not selling out during that show, but they wound up being sold out once the rest of the stock was brought on for the Great Malenko tour later on that year. Now, this album was very, very hard to come by up until recently. Most of the times, you could only get them through trading tapes and going to Detroit, you know, and where they come from and trying to find a copy there. But now it's widely available. You could literally just search on YouTube and listen to the full album. 
So like I said, there's only 500 copies of this that has ever been made, and that's all they ever intend to have made. It's a nice little look into ICP's past, and I actually really do love this album. Even though it's gritty, and you can tell, yeah, it's very low quality, uh, a lot of the raps that Joe has in this uh, tape is really cool and you could tell some of the stuff that he raps is kind of recycled in later uh songs but um yeah it's just a nice little piece of history there so there you go guys that is icp intelligence and violence see you later <laughs>